Hey guys, this is Michael Capato in Detroit, and since all the cool kids seem to be doing unboxing videos, I thought I'd do one too because I'm so flippin' excited. It came! Shane Spiel, it's here! It came! Your book is here! And I also got a package from CB Giddy. It's the, uh, the Wacky Wednesday um, um, tuner pots, but it's here. I knew it was coming today. So much so that I'm wearing my favorite shirt to build guitars in my Shane Spiel shirt. And you know, the uh, the blues ain't kind of skinny legged women gets a lot of comments if I wear this in public. Um, some not so good from skinny legged women. Alright, it's here. Um, I'm so excited about this. I did an advance copy order as soon as Shane announced it. Um, the package has been opened a little bit, so I'm kind of concerned that goodies have slipped out, but we'll see. So, I know, this is boring, but I'm just too excited. I'm sitting on my porch in lovely Hamtramck, Michigan, which is a small city in the heart of Detroit. So, this is too exciting! Oh, there's goodies in here. I was thinking about this today, because I've ordered stuff from Shane before. Um... If you're going into the business of selling, especially through the mail, um, order stuff from Shane and look at his website and see what he does. He always goes the extra mile. If you order, there's always goodies in the package, but also if you order a slide, if you haven't already, he puts the slides in these really cool little bags, small bags. And he's got the coolest buttons on the bags, which I actually should put on the shirt. But it's adding those little those little goodies, I think, just as a sort of a great customer service and a way to promote. Speaking of, I have... Ooh, I don't think I have this one. I have the Shane Spiel King of the Cigar Box Guitar pin, which I will put on this shirt. Oh, this is so cool. The book looks gorgeous. I'm sounding like a geek, which I am. We got the Shane Spiel Cigar Box the car, Guitar Felix the Cat um, sticker. A picture of Shane, that handsome bloke, with his um, chord tuning guide on the back. Again, it's stuff like this that I think anybody's selling, and I'm hoping to come up with my own stuff or my sales should consider doing. I mean, this is simple, but this is a great little thing that you could stick on the back of your guitar. You know, he's got it set so you could cut it off. So, this is it. The piece de resistance. It's backward. Making the poor man's guitar. Come on, how cool, how beautiful is this book from Fox Channel. I mean, we've seen the pictures. This is just too exciting. These gorgeous guitars. Fortunately, my copy has got a little bend from the post office, but yeah. And Shane signed it with Build Your Legend. This is just cool. This is, I can already tell it's a gorgeous book. The second page. This is just stunning. I can't wait. I really want to sit and read this all day today, but I have like four builds on the bench. One of them should be finished today. A really neat rose themed guitar. Oh my god, look at that. The one that he did his first video on, or the video of his first guitar just recently that he got back. Guitarchaeology sections, which I'm a historian. Especially of like 19th century stuff. I do vintage baseball right, and recreation of that era of like post Civil War. Oh my god, practical tips. Look at this. Something that I was actually gonna ask about maybe somebody doing a video on sort of how to lay out your, um, your sound hole template when you're uh, doing sound holes because I actually have the CB Giddy templates but. Still getting them lined up on the box is a little difficult. Ooh, bluesman Albert Collins, his secret guitar. Oh, this is just way, way exciting. How to play, how to build, how to hold the slide. I mean, the pictures are gorgeous. Oh, wow. 
Look at this. Get turkeyology stuff. Oh, I can't wait. This is just oh there it is. The uh the burlesque one that if you watch the broadcast on Friday or saw the emails, Shane is working with Ben and CB Giddy and selling parts from various guitars, including this one. So if you want to do your own burlesque themed one, you definitely want to look at ordering that. I might. It would probably be a guitar for myself because, I don't know, I feel guilty, and this is something I thought about bringing up, I'd feel guilty actually selling a guitar that had those parts on it because that's, you know, it was designed by Shane. Oh, how to do resonating guitars. Oh, this is just too, too bloody cool. I'm outside, so you're hearing neighbors walking by thinking I'm a crazy person sitting out here talking to myself. Robert Johnson's three-string diddly bow excerpt from Guitar Player Magazine, little blurb. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay, guys, um, if you haven't ordered this, and if you haven't heard the hype, ordered this. I mean, this is the culmination of two decades of Shane's work on rediscovering this lost musical art form. And it also is sort of a synthesis, I think, of probably all the other great books and articles that other people have put together over the last 20 years since they first heard from Shane about this. Um, this definitely is kind of going to go down, I think, in history as like the Bible of CBG making. Definitely. And obviously, if you have a chance right now and if Shane's still doing it and I think he is go to his website stubbyslide.com or poormansguitar.com I think it's the actual link and order the book from him so he uh, he can sign it if he still has supplies left or I know it's available on Amazon but it's not on Amazon yet I don't think but it's in my hands all right Shane I'm so excited I'm actually really proud of you for doing this, you're an amazing guy. Uh, UPS, nothing for me because this stuff already came. Um, you're an amazing guy. You've contributed so much, and also you have the biggest heart of anybody I know. And the fact that a little bit of this book, of what I paid for this book, went down to uh, help out We Say School and honor that wonderful guy. I think that's just amazing. The school supplies, when I saw those pictures, brought tears to my eyes. So I'm glad in my tiniest way I could help. And hopefully posting this video will help you make more sales. Anyway, thanks. Bye from the Detroit area, specifically Hamtramck, Michigan. I can't wait. Later today, I'm going to grab a beer and dip into this wonderful book. Goodbye, all.